Hey everyone, welcome to the show. I am the City Escape Griller, and today we're checking out a piece of kitchen hardware. This is the Le Creuset Double Burner Grill. Now this is a grill that goes on top of your stove, indoors, over two burners. It's pretty cool. I've been using it for a few weeks now. A friend of mine let me borrow it. So we're checking it out. I'm gonna give you my first impressions as we make steak and onions today on the Le Creuset Double Burner Grill. So checking out the pan here, we've got some ridges that'll make some nice grill marks. We've got an enamel coating on top of cast iron. And this thing is pretty heavy, it weighs almost 11 pounds or five kilograms. Comes in nice colors like this blue here. Comes in some other colors as well. And you can see this 40 on the back. It says Le Creuset in France. It's made in France. And that 40 means, I'll show you right here, the cooking surface is 40 centimeters side to side and 24 centimeters from top to bottom and today on the grill we're going to be making some steak and onions and that starts with this porterhouse here it's not too thick fairly decent marbling we've got the t-bone in the middle the strip on one side and the fillet on the other not too bad for a grocery store steak we're going to add some olive oil and then just use your hands to brush that olive oil around on the steak. Add a little bit of salt, either kosher salt or sea salt. And then of course, some freshly ground black pepper. I like to go pretty heavy with the pepper. And flip it over and season the other side. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and we are ready for the grill. One thing I love about my stove here in New York City is it has gas burners. They're so much better than those coil burners. It makes a huge difference. So we're gonna heat the pan up and add some oil. I'm using high temperature oil. This is grapeseed oil. And I'm just gonna wipe this around using a basting brush. On Amazon, I noticed that a lot of the reviewers said that they had a problem with food sticking to this dish and it was hard to clean. Now I always put oil on it like this, brush it around, and I haven't had that problem at all. So keep that in mind if you buy this for yourself. And now I'm adding a half of a dahlia onion that I've cut into strips or a julienne. I like vidalias. I think they're nice and sweet as opposed to red onions or, or Spanish onions or yellow onions. I really like the Bedelli onions. I'll just stir these around a little bit. A little bit of salt. A little bit of fresh ground black pepper. And we're just gonna let these cook for a few minutes over a low heat. Whereas on the front burner, we're gonna turn that up to high and cook the steak over a high heat. Okay, so now a few minutes have gone by. They're starting to get a little color to them. The sweetness, the caramelization is starting to take place. The sweetness of the onions is coming out. These are gonna be delicious. And we're gonna add our steak over the front burner. And I like to press the steak down into the ridges, get those nice grill marks. After a couple minutes, we're gonna turn this 90 degrees. So we'll get a cross hatch of grill marks. Grilled steak is all about the grill marks. So here we are now, what are we at? About five, maybe a little more than five minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this steak. And you can see those nice cross hatch grill marks. What a lovely thing it is from our trusty grill pan. The onions are coming along nicely. Man, I can't wait to eat it. It's just smelling great in here and I am getting very hungry for this steak. To get in my belly. All right, I think our steak is just about done. I'm gonna go ahead and put the finishing touches on our onions here. I'm gonna add a little bit of butter. 
and just a touch of balsamic vinegar. Yeah, not too much, you don't have to go crazy with it. These onions are gonna taste good even without it. But I think it's just a nice little, nice little touch right at the end. Butter and balsamic. And we've got the caramelization of these onions already. These are gonna be sweet, buttery, and absolutely delicious. And as the barbecue pit boys would say, oh man, can you smell that? That smells good. <laughs> Steak's feeling pretty good. Not too hard, not too soft. Still has a little bit of play. So I'm imagining that it's around done the way I like it, medium rare. You know, but cook yours. If you like it well done, cook it well done. If you like it rare, cook it rare. So let me get these onions onto the steak, just right on top. And how good does that look? Okay, so let's get a look inside here. And I like to cut right along the bone because that'll be the rarest part. So we'll get a good look at how well the steak is cooked. Let's take a look and it's pretty good to me. But that's kind of how I like my steaks, you know, medium rare. Let's give this a taste and make sure it tastes as good as it looks. I know it does already. But we'll give this a try. absolutely delicious those onions are fantastic there it is steak and onions made on the le creuset double burner grill so there you have it my first impressions with this indoor grill pan made by le creuset it's pretty good you know le creuset they make very expensive pieces of kitchen hardware and this is no difference, 200 bucks. So I really like using it, but is it really worth $200? I would say yes, but only as a luxury item. This is not one of the first pieces you're gonna buy for your kitchen if you're newly starting out. You wanna get something you know, more along the lines of just a regular cast iron pan. I think this right here, this is artisanal. This is like 25 bucks at Bed Bath & Beyond. This is a necessity, I would say. Whereas this uh, grill pan here is definitely more of a luxury item. It's really nice, it's, it's, it's very fancy, but for 200 bucks, you know, you can buy a Weber Q or you can buy uh, you know, a Weber kettle, a souped up Weber kettle. And those are actually, you know, fantastic grills. So definitely a luxury item. It's nice for a gift, um, or if you just have everything already and you need something, you know, just to have fun with. This is a fun piece, luxury item, little expensive, 200 bucks. I'll leave a link down below where you can pick it up on Amazon. It's heavy, it's heavy duty, it's durable. And, um, you know, a lot of people said, uh, food sticks to it. I haven't had that problem at all. I think this grill is pretty cool, but let me know what you think in the comments down below. Leave a like if you like this video, subscribe and be sure to hit that notification bell. And of course, even if it's indoors, keep on grilling. Can you smell that? That smells good.